Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion video and today we are going to discuss all of the dinosaurs, well new ones, that have been confirmed for Jurassic World Dominion and listing them from our favorite to least favorite. Well, all of them are my favorite, but like which ones we're most excited for. And that includes ones that have not been like shown yet, but have been confirmed, as well as um ones we have seen. So. I'm going to start off with the one that's probably most surprising to most, the Giganotosaurus, or Giganotosaurus, whichever way you prefer it. This is one of my favorite personal dinosaurs, guys. I think it's in my top three large carnivore d dinosaurs. I'd, I'd probably rank it as number two, number one being T-Rex, obviously. And it was a nice surprise to hear this was announced, which... It was announced um, months ago by Sam Neill. I did a video on it if you want to check that out. And we've learned recently that it's going to have a much bigger role than we originally thought. As Sam Neill and um, Colin Javaro have stated in the past and currently. Such as how for the um, five minute clip that will be appearing with Fast 9 in IMAX theaters. We'll be getting to see the Giganotosaurus in prehistoric times. But before you go saying, well, then it's not going to appear for the rest of the movie. That's not entirely true, because in the past, it's supposed to kill a T-Rex, which is going to be revealed to be where Rexy, the main T-Rex of the franchise, got her DNA from. So, it's very likely that Rexy will face off against the Giga in the current times, and also because Sam Neill has stated that he did work with a Giganotosaurus animatronic, which is very nice to see. Now we haven't gotten an official look of what it's gonna look like in the movie, except for some sort of concept art with it looking like a, um, similar to the Jurassic World Evolution one, with some differences, of course. And that's so far all we know about it. We know it's gonna appear in the five minute clip. We know it's going to, we know Alan Grant's Sam Neill will be dealing with, um, the beast in current times. We most likely will see it fight and possibly lose to Rexy, and maybe even more. We don't know. Now, the next one, the one that's got a very nice nod to the Raptor Squad, the Deinonychus, which, oh my god, I'm not going to get into the trouble with Deinonychus slash Velociraptor in the franchise, because it's stupid. But, um, we finally have an official image of the Deinonychus Squad, I might say, in the fi films because um the previous images which showed um the heads of them with um some of the workers of the um movie those were taken by citizens but we have our first official image which is of all four of them in stances similar to the raptor squad we get to see how they properly look with them um, one of them being um white like the similar to the female raptor from JP3, while the others are orange like the Tiger Raptors in The Lost World. Now, I wonder what kind of role they'll have, especially because, like, they're basically now replacing Velociraptors, because, remember, Blue's the only living Velociraptor we know of currently left in the world, so maybe this is basically them saying, Velociraptor is gone, long live the Deinonychus, which, damn, that's one way of saying it with them literally posed like the Raptor Squad. Now, number three is one that was just recently announced with them um, that's going to appear in the um, five minute clip for Dominion. The Moros Intrepidus, which is a small feathered Tyrannosaurid, which is one of our, which is our first official look from Colin Javara on feathered dinosaurs. Now we know there's gonna be more feathered dinosaurs. We'll mention some others in a minute, but this one looks so beautiful, and you can see it actually right beside the Giganotosaurus, or at least the bottom jaw, which many people are wondering why that is, and, well, it could be that it's claiming the Gig Giga's teeth, because remember, as I mentioned with the Giga, it does kill a T-Rex in the flashback scene, so maybe that's what it's doing. We don't know. Now, we don't know what other things it could do, I have a feeling that it m might not actually show up for the rest of the movie. The reason why is because, well, we haven't gotten any um, official updates on it. And yes, it was just announced a few days ago, so forgive me if I'm wrong. And speaking of 
that another um, f rather recent dinosaur discovered, the Dreadnoughtus, which was discovered a couple of years ago before Fallen Kingdom because, spoiler alert, at the end of Fallen Kingdom we actually got a tease for its appearance in Dominion in a briefcase full of DNA and one of the DNAs listed was um, Dreadnoughtus. And it's also supposed to appear in the flashback and most likely will also appear later on in the movie as well. Where, what role it might have, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll just be like the Brachiosaurus or Apatosaurus just walking in wonder, hopefully not being killed like those two have been in the Jurassic World films because goddamn, they just don't have good luck sauropods these days. Yeesh. Now here's one that's very nice to hear, Quetzalcoatlus. This is a massive, um, pterosaur probably one of the biggest if not the biggest it's, and for those who somehow don't know of it just to make you understand think of a pteranodon we've seen they're bigger than people well if you put a quetzal beside them which we will actually get to see in the movie because conjurer has confirmed when we see it it'll be beside them um, a group of pteranodons the pteranodons look like tiny birds yeah it's that big it's as big, if not bigger, than a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which, yes, I cannot wait to see this beast of a pterosaur fly in the sky. Now, it's only so far been confirmed to appear in the clip again. A lot of these dinosaurs have only been announced for the clip, which I hope that's not the case for all of them just not returning. I hope we get to see some of them more in the movie, like the Giga and, and Dreadnoughtus. I want to see them. Um, I'd love to see Quetzal in, the, t in today's world, like... Maybe flying beside an airplane and being like, holy Jesus, that airplane is not as big as I remember it to be. Um, another raptor, Pyroraptor, which, interestingly enough, the Deinonychus was originally believed to be the Pyroraptor. I'm not sh sure what people were thinking or stuff, but we have gotten some concept art to show it, which um, shows it highly feathered. Now, the image that I'm probably showing you right now is not what it's supposed to officially look like. I don't believe so. If it is, well, then it's still going to look cool, but you can see how it is really, really feathered, like proper feather, not proto feathers, not like the Morris Intrepidus where it looks more like fur kind of, at least at a distance, but this looks like a proper bird, realistically, which funny thing to think about because ever since the first movie, we've always been told by like, Alan Grant and other characters that how similar they are to birds but now we finally are getting to see it with them some of these dinosaurs being feathered now we don't know what role this guy will have so we're gonna move on because literally this image is all we have of the pyroraptor so far but the last raptor we actually have confirmation of the oviraptor again is supposed to appear in the um five minute clip with fast nine and from what we've heard, it's supposed to actually do what it did in real life, and that is eat eggs, which is going to be nice to see. Poor mother is going to be like, you stole my eggs. And now let's get on to one that is not a dinosaur. Well, actually, the next two are not dinosaurs. The Lystrosaurus. Lystrosaurus was announced, I think, around the time that Dominion was officially confirmed to be pushed back, which was sometime in November of last year, so damn, a while ago. And it's very nice to see. It's not a dinosaur, as we mentioned, because it came before the um, dinosaurs, and I think it was in the mid or late Triassic period it first appeared. I'm, I know it's in the Triassic period, and it's a very nice dinosaur. To, well, not dinosaur. I apologize for calling it a dinosaur, but I'm used to saying that when it comes to Jurassic Park slash world. So this prehistoric creature, let's try and stay with that. It's very nice to see that we're not just getting dinosaurs, which leaves us wondering what other prehistoric creatures besides like things like pterosaurs, dinosaurs, and aquatic creatures from the dinosaur era are we going to see? Are we going to see other things like maybe um, prehistoric crocodiles or stuff? Are we going to see any of those things? There's so many things that they could introduce now that the like, they can't... You can't put it back in the box, as Eli Mills said, because literally, Pandora's box has been opened. We have literally endless capabilities now just because of this dinosaur. Not dinosaur Austin, Jesus! This prehistoric creature being revealed. And not only that, we have one more prehistoric creature that came before the dinosaurs, which is 
the Dimetrodon, which a lot of people actually believe is a dinosaur. But yeah, this is a famous creature, most famous for us dinosaur fans from things like Walking with Monsters, where it like took center stage. And it is an awesome creature, a sailed back creature that just screams badass and stuff. Excuse my language, but still. It is nice to see this guy. Now, we've only gotten the um, concept image of it, which makes it look pretty strange. It has this reddish pink body with um, a green sail, which I don't know if I like it or not. I think I do like it because it's crazy and it's something we haven't seen, but I don't know if it's a little too crazy. Leave in the comments what you guys think about this. And so far, that's it. Maybe it'll be... It won't appear in the um, pre in the um, Fast Nine um, clip because that takes place in the Jurassic, and this guy came before even the Triassic period. Which I think I, I can't remember exactly what time period he showed up. I'll have to probably check. Um, but the last two are dinosaurs, guys, and that is Iguanodon for the first. Um, which Iguanodon has been like famous in the franchise. Like it hasn't appeared in the movies and stuff. But it's appeared in tons of games and comics, I'm pretty sure. And, like, I'm pretty sure it has... I'm pretty sure it was supposed to appear in Camp Cretaceous because there was some concept art that showed in the Guandadan, I believe. But still, I cannot wait to see this. Like, the, like a lot of these guys on the list, he's confirmed to be appearing in the um, Fast 9 clip, which is supposed to also be the opening of the movie, which is gonna be very very nice and the last dinosaur which technically has appeared in the franchise i'll explain in a second the nasutoceratops our third official ceratopsian which fun fact while it has not appeared in the movies it did appear in the 2019 short film battle at big rock which was highly successful and it was actually the first thing that was actually shown for dominion before the title of the movie was even announced, which we got to see the evolution of the baby Nasutoceratops animatronic, where it first started um, in that cage where it was shaking its head and stuff, and we saw the prop masters doing the work, then we saw it completed, and so far after that we've gotten everything else that, like, has led us to this list of um, confirmed new dinosaurs, and I cannot wait to see this guy. I loved the surprise, I was so surprised to see him in Battle at Big Rock, because well, we didn't expect to see him at all. He wasn't on, like, any list confirming that he was. But it's nice to see this guy. Maybe we'll get to see a lot more of him. Because he's also, not only is he appearing in, like, the current timeline, he's also appearing in the five-minute clip, which is going to be very interesting to see. But, guys, that is it. That is the list of all 11 dinosaurs so far confirmed to be appearing in Dominion, like, new dinosaurs. Now, honestly, which one is your guys' most um, looking for, the one you're most looking forward to? For me, my top three are Giganotosaurus, Morus, Intrepidus, and Quetzalcoatlus. I would say Deinonychus is up there as well, but I, I want to see that Quetzal so badly. He's just pushing a little higher than Deinonychus. I mean, I'm excited to see all these dinosaurs, but leave in the comments which one you are most excited for and why. But if you've enjoyed this um, video, where I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.